Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. I have the inclination to do a love reading um, today. Um, so we're just going to kind of go through here and the zodiac sign and see who is it that's needing a love reading. Ah, Aquarius. Aquarius, you are needing a love reading. All right, Aquarius, somebody out there really needs a love reading. And so I'm just going to kind of pull from the cards that I've set out here um, to um, kind of interpret the reading. Um, it feels like, uh, I feel like this is an existing connection. Um, maybe there's been some obstacles getting to this connection. Beautiful spirit, what can you tell us about Aquarius's love life? Where is Aquarius and their person in their love life? Um, so here it has free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Children, your love life is being affected by children. <clears throat> Let's see what else. <clears throat> Let's see what else you have going on. What's going on with your person? You are lovable. I feel like the person that we're doing the reading for is definitely <clears throat> maybe has been in a relationship that's kind of taken more time than you need it to or can allow it to. Um, you just don't have time because you're kids. All right. So I'm kind of getting the, we'll, we'll dig into this a little later, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that whatever relationship that you're in, um, or are moving away from, um, you're just kind of trying to. Do just remember who you are before whatever relationship that you're in. You're kind of taking a look on your, at your children, um, and spending your time time there, and just kind of getting back to center and grounding, and you know, freeing yourself from attachments um, or where your energy has gone elsewhere. Maybe releasing attachments that you've had, um, you know, of energy that does not belong to you. Um, and kind of focusing that on, on your kids. Um, I think the lesson kind of what you're going through right now is that you are lovable. Um, and that you are going to find someone to be passionate about. But there's no real indication yet as to um, what this this might be. Um, so if this is a singles reading and your lesson right now is that you are lovable and you deserve the best and that spirit wants what's best for you, um, it looks like at your level of vibration that you're attracting something that you can be passionate about, um, that allows your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, and, and knowing that you're lovable, um, the universe is going to support that by bringing things to you um, in love and enjoy. So this is definitely a single reading. Um, is there a new love interest in Aquarius's um, near future? Is there new a new love interest coming into Jeez Louise? Apparently. All right, so this one came out first, which is the Empress. So this could be feminine energy, something that can grow, um, or you are growing. Six of Pentacles, generosity, giving, and receiving. And then the Four of Comps, or the <laughs> Four of Cups, Comps. Um, I want free stuff, too. Maybe that's, um, <clears throat> maybe this is a person who is, um, 
and, and it's not gender specific, but I feel like there's somebody, um, um, I almost feel like somebody wants to grow something with you or did want to grow something with you and was very generous, um, but you were maybe really very interested in them. Let's see. Like, I think maybe you were having um, fun, but I feel also like maybe you didn't deserve the generosity that they that they had for you or that were, they were giving to you. How can you prepare yourself? The Knight of Pentacles, right? Managing yourself. I feel like sometimes um, maybe... You work so hard um, that you don't make time for maybe uh, loving your, yourself. Um, you're working really hard. You're very practical, um, reliable, um, prioritizing, or at least attempting to do those things. Um, I almost feel like you really want to be very independent. Um, what is this passion? Or what is a positive omen to look for in regards to um, this this new love? So I feel like, you know, in order to prepare yourself for, for what's coming, you just kind of need to boss up and take responsibility in your life or continue to do so in the way that you have been. Um, I don't feel like you want somebody to take care of you. I feel like you want to do it for yourself. Um, but there is, it is okay to receive page of cups here. Um, I think like the positive omen for this, for this new cut, uh, love coming into your life. One, you may get a love message, somebody telling you that they love you or interested in you. Um, but actually my first feeling was that your kids are going to like this person, um, was the very first thing. I'm also thinking like there's a couple of kids um, who are um, maybe delighted to see um, their person or their, their parents spoiled, you know, and taken care of and treat, treated nicely. Um, so it looks like whatever's coming in is, is passionate. Um, let's see. What would be a red flag or a negative omen um, to avoid in regards to this new love coming into Aquarius's life? What is the negative omen to avoid in regards to this new love? Maybe a rash, hot head kind of person. Um, something that is easy to keep under wraps in a few hours, but maybe over the long term is a little... Um, um, it's harder to hide. I feel like, um, you know, a red flag for you already is going to be a person who is maybe aggressive or kind of like a hothead or someone who's impulsive or stubborn, um, I feel like, um, I just feel like this is kind of like an aggressive person that's kind of below the surface that it's not necessarily a problem, um, as long as they're keeping it under wraps and they've done their spiritual ascension. Um, beautiful spirit. What is Aquarius looking for? What is Aquarius looking for in a new relationship? To travel? Oh. Family. Oh. True love, family. without the stress. 
I do feel like this Knight of Swords brings kind of a bit of stress, even though maybe this feminine energy feels like they truly love this person. Um, they recognize that this is a passionate person who has their best interest at heart. I feel like the person that is maybe in your life, I feel like maybe you've overcome some obstacles together um, successfully. And I feel like um, it's allowing you to take back some control of your life. Um, and maybe you're using your children as an excuse to kind of get between you. You say you're not able to travel. Um, but maybe more so because of pride and generosity. Um, but you're more interested in doing things with your family. Less interested in doing things alone. And I feel like the person in your life is saying, look, you got to take care of yourself. I love you. I want <clears throat> to just kind of relieve some of your, of your stress. Um, it's kind of like what I feel like this, maybe this Knight of Pentacles is coming into doing. And I feel like there's some worry and some fear. I feel like your, your kids are going to like this person. Um, I feel like you're going to travel with your family, but you're going to need to make some going to have to try and take care of your yourself and and love yourself and um it is going to be stressful with the kids but you have to relish those moments like all of us who have kids of course we have to relish those moments but um i think with let, let's see should you should you go on this trip because it feels like it's coming towards you pretty quickly um so this seems like a very new relationship, very passionate. Um, not quite sure what it is yet, but this person is being generous and wants to grow with you, wants to take you um, to new places, um, wants to do that with your family, but maybe isn't as keen about your family as you would like them to be. Um, but they're saying, you know, take this moment for yourself. Take a moment to love yourself, love your family. It's going to be stressful, but the kids like me. Um... And let's do it now. Let's let's go right now. Is kind of how I'm feeling with this person. He's taking initiative and saying, "Let's do this." Um, Spirit, what do you have to say about whether or not Aquarius should go on this trip with this person who's inviting them? Okay, and this is the um, the stork here, which means change. Um, and it feels like you need the change is kind of how I feel. Let's see if we can get some clarity on this, this change here. Um, what is some clarity on this change? So I think the rest of this is pretty clear. I do feel like there's somebody here who wants to take you away. Um, Um, perhaps this relationship is just moving slow because of your family. But I do feel like they want to take you away. There's travel. Um, there's travel and we've got the three twice. So. I feel like you're almost not interested in going away because you don't want to leave your family behind. Um, and I do feel like your lesson is to take, um, take the gift um, to love yourself, take care of yourself, relieve some stress. Um, and you, it will change your life. What is this change that we're looking at here? This is the Ace of Swords. So you, you taking this, taking this trip, getting away from stress is going to give you a new perspective. It's going to give you new ideas. You're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to realize some truths. Um, trying to figure out here and it just feels like this is a current offer right now let's see what's kind of coming in let's see what's kind of coming in into the future here and being called to the Brady Tarot 
which is impossible to shuffle, but I did shuffle it before we got on here, so. It's telling me it needs another one, though. This is a relatively new deck for me, so it hasn't been worked. <clears throat> the card that dropped out says truth. Um, so we're going to go ahead and... I think that's what this part is going to be, the overall truth of the matter. Um, this is causing you some anguish. Feels like you have been really uh, thinking and thinking and thinking. Um, just kind of analysis paralysis is kind of how I'm feeling right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have an idea that this is just the whole damn fam right here, right? <clears throat> um, so boy, you've really been going back and forth on this. I feel like he's even like, yeah, bring your family. And I feel like this is going to be a victory for both of you. He is going to get what he wants or she is going to get what she wants. And you and your kids are going to get to go um, on this great vacation. You're going to have some time for romance. You're going to eliminate some stress out of your life. And it's going to create the kind of change um, that you you are longing to move towards. Um so we've got the two, um, the two of wands, the seven of arrows, the magician, the hanged one, uh, nine of wands. What is this? Nine of roots and the mother of feathers. So let's just take a moment and look at these for a second here. A lot of cards popped out in this <clears throat> outcome position. Um, okay, so I feel like this is definitely a big lesson for Aquarius. Um, I feel like you really live a hard life. You work really, really hard to just kind of keep everything together. Um, I almost feel like it's never enough. Your work is never done. And here you've got this person who's coming in, admiring you, um, wanting to grow with you, appreciating you, um, as the guardian you are. Um, and here you're not showing kind of like any interest you're only interested in um maybe even just moving forward with like a family or something but this is causing you a lot of mental distress um analysis paralysis should i go on this trip um should i bring my kids along um but ultimately it looks like you're going to go on this um trip and the outcome of this is the outcome of this is going to be some success, right? Some some planning towards the next future. But here's the thing. You're going to find things that you didn't plan for, right? Those are the things that, that didn't happen. Um, you're going to kind of work. You're going to work through it. Um, you're, go you're going to work through it. And, and I think... Um, I think what Aquarius... I think there's a lesson... In receiving I believe that things aren't necessarily going to go perfect and you're going to work through the things that didn't go per perfect and you're going to remember that this wasn't your idea that this is your lesson in receiving in, vul in vulnerability no it's not your accomplishment it's someone else's who wants to share that accomplishment with you um, and that is going to be uh, that will open you up to some vulnerability and some 
you know, some uncomfortable feelings, but I feel like this is kind of like an adventure um, for you, one in receiving and just kind of allowing this good experience and every moment in, in it, just kind of being grateful. Um, I think what you're going to realize is that on this, this trip that just you being there is, is enough, um, is definitely enough. Okay. So the one that is calling to me is shamanic heart. Um, I did think it was going to be Egyptian visions, but I do feel like I'm definitely going to be doing some more readings tonight. Cause I got a bunch of decks out here. Um, I feel like this is the very beginning of a relationship though. Um, and I feel like the lesson for you is to receive, um, accept gifts, um, accept help, um, find your stress relief, fall in love a little, right? Have an adventure, let things go wrong. Um, don't plan for anything, just let it happen. Um, shift your perspective and succumb to the vulnerability. Um, it's the other half of your best self, right? Because this person gives, 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 and gives to everything and everyone in, in their life. So, all right. So this is what popped out. Children, don't let life tame you. Explore your path like a child. Pregnancy, playfulness, innocence, innocence is the guidance, um, the overall guidance for this reading. So I feel like whatever you do, it's going to be, con uh, definitely consider your kids. Um, <clears throat> There's something magical here. Magic surrounds you and in you, and in you. Use your skills to protect yourself. Psychic spells, casted sorcerer, witch. Um, just manifest good things. Know that you are, you've got it. You're super capable, and that you're going to allow yourself to be. You're going to allow yourself to, to receive and you're going to be grateful for it. So there are more things to, to receive and be joyful about. Um, and, and maybe even spirit is saying, you know, come into this situation like a child, right? Um, be untamed, be your true, most authentic, playful, innocent self, right? Um, there may be a question about an unplanned pregnancy here. Um, because now that I'm seeing with the Empress and the children here, we've got a number of children, children, children. Um, you may be pregnant with this person who you want to give a chance. Maybe you feel like you're not ready um, <clears throat> to for this part of your life to take place yet. Um, but I feel like the person in your life really wants this <laughs> very much. And um, doesn't know how to manifest it. Um Let's take a, let's take a look at the, what is the overall guidance for these last cards that came out under the passion here? But I do feel like there's going to be a shift and a change in the relationship. There's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a new, anytime you go on an adventure, you have a new common experience. You have a new emotional experience. Um, you've worked through something. You, you've done something completely new together. Um, and it does kind of ground you and <clears throat> it may not be a success, but it'll be a memory. Um, so your success will be determined by your own confidence. So your self image, you love yourself, outlook and believing. So I think very much this is a test, this trip coming up, this person who's coming into your life, who wants to treat you, treat your children, um, create an adventure, give you some stress relief so that they have a moment to make magic, to get to know you, to connect on that um, initial connection that you you found or saw in one another. And you have to have the confidence to know that you deserve it. Um, Let's see what else, what else spirit has to say. I feel like I need to do these true of uh, reading cards. <clears throat> I 
Oh no, a whole deck of cards, just, I just lost it. All right, so I'm gonna do this true love deck here because oftentimes it brings me right back to um, self and what I'm what I'm kind of going through when I re do my cards. Um, this person just knows that they want you. Um, I think on some level, both of you are confident that this union could work. Um, Nothing goes perfectly. I feel like the reason you're having so much pain and anguish here is because you're fighting the connection. All right. Where does Aquarius need to be in this relationship? Where does Aquarius need to be in this relationship? Compatibility is what you're really looking for. That's what you're concerned about. Are you compatible? What is your person worried about in this um, connection? Oh, he just loves you. Oh my goodness, this person just loves you. And what is your soul connection? Abundance <clears throat> and the distorted masculine. <clears throat> so this distorted masculine is interesting to me um, because it feels like almost a karmic thing that you both have to work out. Um, I feel like you believe that you are compatible. I believe that this person genuinely, absolutely loves you. Um, there is abundance for you into the future. If this union comes to fruition, um, this abundance comes um, to the forefront. Um, I think the warning here is the distorted of the distorted masculine. Um, we we all know what toxic masculinity is. We all know um, that we have both masculine and feminine natures within us in different measures. Um, but the distorted masculine, I'm actually going to read this particular card because I think it is important um, to watch out for in this in this connection. Um, I feel like this might be something um, you see a little bit um, in this trip that you're going on or in this family vacation or this venture that you're doing where you're going to have a little bit of fun, but perhaps you're seeing... Um, maybe a red a, a red flag and I feel like you just need to sit within your confidence um, be clear um, and maybe even vulnerable tell your truth um, but for the distorted masculine which went where So I want to just hold this up here. It says the distorted masculine is here. Let's see. There we go. It's a little bright with that light there. All right. It's here for all of us to see every day of our lives. It is characterized by an unwillingness to trust, tend to ignoring emotions and intuition, wanting proof of everything and insisting on a logical or rational approach. Part of the mode we all grow up in with to a greater or lesser extent, this old paradigm is now becoming obsolete. At first, we may still believe that the distorted masculine owns and runs the world, but if we look closer, we can see his refusal to acknowledge and support the divine feminine is causing him to wither and die. We have all created a society we live in today, irrespective of our gender. How long the distorted masculine continues to exert his power is up to each and every one of us. The distorted masculine loves bureaucracy, power for the sake of it, and separate, separateness rather than togetherness. He tends to work within a win-lose dynamic where there can only be one winner, one first prize. Taking advantage and taking whatever is available are seen as business and usual in this mode. So naturally, we see a lot of distorted masculine in the corporate environment and in the damage done to our forests and oceans. It is temp tempting to feel helpless in the face of such an intense force, but this dragon has a soft underbelly because without the feminine forces to feed him, he cannot survive. You have drawn this card today because the distorted masculine is still influencing your life. Do you live by your clock and your diary, pushing everything aside until your work is done? Do you ignore your intuition or messages from your body urging you to rest and relax? Are you afraid to feel your emotions for fear of being overwhelmed or appearing weak? And I feel like these questions right now um, can be either for you or your person or for both. I feel like um, there may be some distrust. I don't want to say distrust, 
but maybe expectation on a gift on either side. An expectation of what I'm going to have to give you in return, an expectation of what you're going to give me in return, right? When in fact a gift is simply that, a gift. Um, something to be received and something only to be given, right? It's a single happening. There's no afterwards. It's just a single happening. So, um, in this, in receiving this gift, you know, um, are you having to, um, fit time in, <clears throat> into your schedule? Is that causing you discomfort? Um, are you a workaholic? Are they a workaholic? Um, which <clears throat> I almost am venturing to say that this person, your person is, is a workaholic, um, I also feel like this person may ignore some of their intuition, may ignore some of their feminine side in order to appear stronger. Um, but in fact, it makes them weaker. It's not their authentic self. Um, they, they may be afraid to feel their emotions, even though they feel deep love for you. They may, um, I don't feel like they want to trauma bond with you because they can't fix your problems. I think that's the number one thing there. Um, but I, I think there's going to need to be a balance between, I, th I feel like this is an abundant union. I think there's a lot you guys can do. I think that there's a problem with the power struggle of who has the power. Um, I think what spirit is asking you is to bring this um, in balance between the divine feminine and the divine masculine or this distorted masculine energy of <clears throat> fear, fear of emotions, um, fear of weakness, um, just fear, period. Um, just to kind of bring your consciousness to awareness of this imbalance within your relationship, acknowledge it, bless it for what it has taught you. And let it go. It's time to, to live in and for the present without this particular influence. And I think the number one thing that you must trust here, Aquarius, is that you are deserving of love. And the minute that you accept this, all of this gets easier. Uh, easier. This anguish goes away. The wiffle waffle of should I go? Should I stay? Is this right? Do I really want this? Um, but it feels like your kids like this person. Um, I feel like there's success. Like this person loves you. They want you. They want to treat you well. Um, <clears throat> they, I don't feel like they have kids. I feel like they're poor planners. I feel like they're going to make a whole bunch of mistakes. I feel like, um, <clears throat> I feel like they're not really sure, um, what to do, but they want it to be opulent for you. They want it to be, um, magnificent for you, uh, super big memory for you. Um, and I feel like he's going to, he or she is going to have, um, in the masculine energy, kind of a shift in perspective. Um, in, but I think that he's going to kind of recognize that, uh, the song that comes to mind is that don't impress me much by my <laughs> That that's truly not what you're looking for. That what you're looking for is for compatibility, a space for your children. Um, what are, is Aquarius looking for? What is Aquarius looking for? What is Aquarius looking for? What is Aquarius looking for? Unsure about something, someone, lack of trust. Contracts, legal matters, court cases, commitments made, soul contracts. Ooh. I almost feel like this is a um, soulmate, soul. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Um, a lot of soulmate kind of energy. <clears throat> um, and it's easy to kind of doubt that you're like, whatever, do you know what I'm saying? I don't live in a fantasy. I got kids. I got to do stuff. I got to keep my shit together. I can't, um, 
So I feel like you're not trusting this person, that you're ready to, this person to kind of let you down. And just remember, they are going to let you down. They are going to disappoint you, right? Um, this person feels like no matter what, um, they're, they've made a commitment to just getting to know you, to just, um, there's some sort of divine lesson to be learned here. Um, so the lessons that are going to kind of come out of this trip, this relationship in the very short term here in the next month or so, it says, um, priestess of light, your light shines for others. The world is your oyster, powerful manifester. Um, I think in this trip, you're going to realize that you can manifest everything and everything that you want from life, every experience you can dream of. Um, as long as you believe that it's attainable, it can come to you. Um, it's going to come to you in baby steps. So maybe, you know, this distorted masculine is you Aquarius. Maybe it's, or both of you, I really feel like it's both of you <clears throat> because you've been running the show here. You've been doing it by yourself and you're not sure you want to let somebody in, um, to kind of mess all that up. Cause they're definitely going to mess it up here. Um, but I feel like this experience is just going to kind of help you own your own power. It's going to give you the momentum to move towards your divine purpose. Um, it's going to, it's a, this is reaching the moment to act has arrived, um, reach your desired destination, carrying out the plan. We've got closing, come to the end of a phase, the conclusion of something, a, a completing a cycle. And I true believe, truly believe that you're completing this cycle here of working so hard, of doing it all alone, not taking any time um, for, for yourself. Um, I feel like you are going to free your thought of that is the only option that you have. Um, containing, controlling one's feelings, restraining oneself, repressed emotions. Um, these, I feel like this is going to bring this relationship and, and bringing out some of this authenticity and vulnerability, um, showing some of your weaker sides, your softer sides is going to be a, a challenge. Um, we repress those, um, emotions for a number of reasons. Our needs can't, our needs can't be met. Um, they don't feel good. They hurt when we think about it. Um, but in a new relationship, it's really kind of important to share as much of that as you can, um, so that your partner doesn't, take anything personally and you are clear yourself on your own emotions. Um, so this relationship may bring up some stuff for you, but we're closing it out. We're healing from the stuff from the past. Um, and I think that you can pretty much little by little, um, manifest your wildest dreams, create your truest freedom, um, the power to do what you want, um, maintaining your own independence and knowing nothing can stop you that you don't that you can maintain your dignity and stand in your truth love yourself first and not have to compromise um and that people are going to come in helpful people are going to come into your life um that this person is coming into your life to be gel generous and wants and is willing to help you um accept that help from from this person um indulge in the pleasure right um allow yourself to have pleasure spirit wants the best for you the absolute best for you. Um, so you definitely, um, and, and once you have ultimate joy and, and spirit to me is very much encouraging you, um, to, um, to enjoy this experience, um, that it is here to help you. It is part of your spiritual growth and in knowing that you're worthy of love and that you're lovable and that you deserve to, um, maybe have stress free, um, opportunity um, is just the clarity that you need in order to to kind of get out of this stuck um, kind of energy um, I did pull out a couple of charms the the video actually cut out in the last portion of my reading here um, so I had to kind of redo this part here um, but I did pull out the cat that was I was called to put this on the priestess of light um, and it just kind of feels like you are smart and independent, and this is going to be an opportunity for you to truly shine um, and, and just take that kind of just regrounding yourself. Um, and then the, this J popped out too. So if J has any significance to you, please um, definitely um, 
uh, <clears throat> definitely, <laughs> it's right in the center here. So I'm like, it's either you, your person, or your children. Um, something with the with the letter J. So if that does stand out for you, definitely leave a comment below. Um, if you would be so kind as to like, subscribe, and share so I can continue to grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching. You have a beautiful, blessed day.